So in this lecture, we will know how to insert chamfer in our 3D geometries. So we can find this chamfer in the dress up toolbar. That is chamfer. So right now it is not highlighting. So for this first we will need to create a 3D geometry. So I go to this pad tool, click on this pad. In this, I take this XY plane that is top plane. So click on this sketch and select this plane. Draw a rectangle a rectangle of any dimension and then click on exit workbench. Give it some height. So let's say I take this value 2 and click on preview. Okay, we can increase this value to 4 and click OK. And now we are going to insert chamfer into this. So click on this chamfer tool. So in this chamfer, we can see the first option that is highlighting is the mode. So click on this arrow, we have length and angle, length 1, length 2, coder length and then height and angle. So I am going to start with this length and length. So click on this option of length and length. And now we can see we have length 1 and length 2. So to insert the chamfer, we need to select the object. And then we need to select the edge. So click on this edge. And let's zoom in here. Now we can see the preview of a chamfer. So in the chamfer, an edge is replaced by two edges. So let's click on preview and then click OK. And now we can see we have a chamfer. So if I rotate this to the front view, click on this front view. We can have a better preview of the chamfer. So the value of the chamfer is calculated from this corner point. So to have a better view of this, once again, I go to chamfer tool. So we need to select this edge. So let's rotate this object and then select this edge and then click on front view. Let's zoom in here. Change the values. So I take this value 2 and then I take this value 1. Click on preview. So if I select this option of symmetry extend, it will create a symmetric chamfer. It means similar value on the both sides. So click on this preview and click OK. Now we can see this chamfer is higher on this length 2 and lower on the length 1. So in this way we can create the chamfer. Now we can also create chamfer with some more parameters. So let's go to isometric view, zoom out and then go to chamfer tool click on this option of length 1 and angle so in this we can create chamfer with respect to length and angle so let's click here so click on this edge so select any edge and then try to rotate this we can select multiple edges at a single time so right now we can see two elements are selected ok click on fit view Rotate this and then zoom in. So if you want to make some more changes into the selection, click on this bag icon and then we can select the edges. We can remove them or replace them. So let's remove it. Now we can see we can define this chamfer with this angle and the value of length. Click close and click on preview. Click OK. And then once again I go to chamfer tool click on this option of cordal and length. So in this time, the length will be taken as a cordal length. So click on this option and then zoom in. Once again, let's zoom in here. I want to show this value. So the length of the chamfer will now be measured from this point to this point. And that is the angle of chamfer. So click on preview and click OK. So in this way, we can insert the cordal chamfer. So last type of chamfer we have is the height and angle. So select this chamfer and then we need to select an edge. So let's rotate this model first and click on this edge and then zoom in. And now we can see this time the value is measured from this point up to this midpoint of the opposite line. So that is the value of height. Click OK for this chamfer. And in this way we can create multiple types of chamfer.